Hello, hello. So today I thought I'd talk about walking the dots, which is really the main technique that you use when creating a mandala. It's the first skill that uh, really you should learn. And let's get started. First, I'm gonna use one of my rod tools to make a large dot to walk around, but these are not the tools that you use to walk your dots. These tools must be re-dipped every time you wanna make a new dot. Don't try to walk your dots with your flat-ended rod tools because they will make a mess. Um, what you wanna use is your ball styluses Different people have different brands, but this is the most common brand that you find on on um, Amazon. And they're relatively inexpensive, but they go in order of size from yellow is the smallest, then comes pink, then comes white, then blue, then green. So if you arrange them in size from smallest to largest, that's the easiest way to go about this rather than um, trying to um, ask other daughters, what tool did you use to do this or that? If you know the order of your sizes, then you're just gonna go from smallest to biggest and that's what I'm getting ready to show you. So, you wanna start out with a small tool. I typically start out with my pink tool, the large end, and there's a couple ways that you can design your walking the dot patterns. One way is to place a dot at the top And then go back and get more paint. And just follow around your large dot until you get to the end. Now, I hear a lot of people get frustrated because they can't seem to get enough dots to make it to the end. If that happens, let's say I only got that far then I could flip my pink tool over to the small end of it and finish walking them out that way. So you can use multiple tools to get your dots around. Also, um, some people swear by let me move up to the next tool. I'm going up to the large end of the white tool. Some daughters will do this. They'll take and they'll make their top dot and they'll just go ahead and walk around without getting more paint. For one thing, I find I run out of paint easier doing it that way. But another thing is you have to then re-dip into that top dot and drop off some paint. And the reason is because if you didn't, then this dot right here would be as big as your top center dot. And you don't want that. You want them to be smaller as they go. So that's one way to do it. I prefer to drop my paint off and then go get more paint. And so my first two dots here on either side of the center dot will be the same size as the top dot. And that's okay because they are decreasing in size then after that. <coughs> Excuse me. As you start to get out further it starts to become a little more difficult because you're walking the dots further. I typically take a, a four millimeter um, rod 
tool. And I'll place a big dot. And then I go to my ball stylus. I'm moving up now to the large end of the blue tool. And because this is so far to go, go ahead and dip and dot, and then dip and dot again. And then it should carry you around. So dip and dot. Dip and dot again, and it'll carry you around. Now, if you continued going like that, you're going to have more of a circular pattern. Another thing that you can do is when you make your large center dot, I'm again using the four millimeter rod, put it up a little higher. See, I'm using my circular guide marks to keep, if I were to be doing an actual mandala, and that green dot ended on that guide mark, I'd make sure on every petal that I was on the same guide mark. So I used my four millimeter and I started up higher and now I'm gonna move up to my green tool. And this time I'm going to dip, I'm going to put the first dot just right there in that nook. And I'm gonna dip and dot again, cause we've got a long way to go now. Then I'm gonna dip and I'm gonna walk the rest out. Same thing over here, dip and dot, dip and dot, dip and walk. And you can see that starts to give a more peaked effect. Um, let me show you that. By doing all of them that way. On my guideline. The first row, you want to keep it close to your main dot. You don't want to go up higher on your first row. So the first row, go ahead and put down a center dot. I usually use the green tool for that because I really like a big, nice center dot. You can tap to unload some more paint. Get a nice plump center dot there. I'm going back down to my pink stylus, large end. And just walk them around. Now, I'm gonna use my green stylus again. I'm not ready for a big giant center dot, but my green stylus will give me a nice one. So now I'm gonna go up higher. So I'm gonna jump up to this circular guideline up here. Tap off some extra paint. Go to my white stylus, large end. Really load your tool up with paint. And you wanna go slow. 
especially at first when you're learning. Okay, on to the next color. Now I am going to use my four millimeter rod, four millimeter rod. And once again, I'm gonna go a little higher. So up another guideline. Now I'm gonna use my blue stylus. Dip and dot. Probably this won't make it around, but that's okay, because then I can show you what to do. Starting to run out of paint. So just flip your tool over to the small end and finish walking them out. Or dip and dot twice. Dip and dot. Dip and dot. I prefer the double dip and dotting method to switching tools easier. So you see how this is forming a nice peaked shape. And we'll do one more. So my number four stylus up a little higher. And now to my green large end. And I'm probably going to need to dip and dot three times to get around here. The reason um, that I'm having to dip and dot so much is because when we make this into a peak, we increase the distance that we have to travel. So dip, dot, dip, dot, dip, dot and walk them out. Dip dot, dip dot, dip dot, walk them out. So you can see with that dipping dotting method, is how you can get patterns with walking the dots that just continue on and on. This has four rows. You could do five rows, six rows, just by um, a combination of dipping and dotting multiple times and then switching to a smaller tool at the tail end if you're not making it around. Um, hope you found that helpful. See you soon, bye.